What's up, vloggers? Trying to up down and come back at you again. Well, I vlogs. So, what day? I don't even know. Like one day, about a month. Nah, it's been about three. It's before we went on vacation. Wasn't it? I think so. Uh, sometimes I put my truck in the garage. Sometimes I don't, depending on what the deal is. If somebody needs to work on something or whatever. but Or I'm getting my street back out. So I got, we got so much junk in here. It's stacked in here like there's crap everywhere. So my truck was in the driveway and I usually go around the garage and it parked like going down. So the truck kind of sits this way down. So I get in one day and well, you were with me when it happened, wasn't it? Uh -uh, not in here. Who was in here with me? Was it Melissa? Might have been Melissa. Or maybe the kids, I can't remember. I get in, I rolled forward and hit the brakes look down and water starts running out of here down into my cup area and i'm going are you freaking kidding me so i'm sitting here looking all over you know feeling this that and the other what's wrong with it i got something wrong up there anyway let's tell you something water was running out of every one of these things like this whole thing must have been full of water um so obviously the first thing you think of sunroof leaking justin what year did you have an 18 19 how do you open it without can you open it without opening the how I don't do you open even, it? no i never even opened the sunroof in this thing no not the sunroof this i don't know how to do it i've never opened it i never even opened the sunroof before there you go you've had this open before but have i just not the sunroof oh. my oh now it's opening the sunroof okay oh it only opens that much okay well, how do you there has to be a way just to shut the I guess it shuts on its own. Yeah. The yeah. Toyota I didn't like because the Toyota, you had to shut it, you had to hold it till it was all the way shut. You never knew if it was all the way shut. Anyway, the first yeah. thing I thought of, the stupid sunroofs leaking. Yeah, I had a 19 <clears throat> and these sunroofs and these Super Duties, I guess the F-150s are the same. They all, they have, uh, mine leaked. I, got, I had a video on my phone. Got a rail or something in there, doesn't it? Up in here, and I guess they're designed to leak that way. And then they got tubes that run down the pillars and then drain out onto the ground. And uh, mine did that, and I thought it wasn't normal, so I took it back to the dealership, and they said that the window doctor, which is a sunroof guy, has to come and fix it. Yeah. So, because mine was leaking too much, supposedly, so the window doctor came and fixed it, blah, blah, blah. Well, when we got this truck, this is two years newer, so. 21, uh, this yeah. is 21. So I was asking the guy, um, y'all been watching for a while. You remember when we first got the Mastercraft, that's when I got that truck. It was in the spring of 19, but. Anyways, um, do we get these in 19? Uh-uh. No, I got that truck in the spring of night. We got these in 21. 21. But I was going to say, these are 21, so that doesn't make sense. Okay. So I uh, asked this guy when we were getting, or the, what's his name? The, the salesman when we were getting this truck, if they fixed that problem. He's like, oh, yeah, that's fixed. So fast forward to, Trey called me and said it was leaking. Well, they went on vacation, and he left the truck in the garage. They rented a car van or whatever it was or suv and uh i made the appointment at beachmont ford called them and they said okay the window doctor is going to be here what day was that that was uh i sun? tried calling them they put me on hold and said they'd call me back i never heard another word from them. 22 20 friday the 21st of july so we got up had to be there at 8 30 we got there I, I, me and trey drove over and we dropped the truck off and Everything was uh, completely normal. He said the guy, the window doctor is going to be here between 11 and 12, and he normally only has him for about a half an hour, 45 minutes. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So we leave, and we're driving on the way back. It's like, man, you know, we... Um, well, he said something about the warranty. So, so we might ought to think about, uh, me and him were talking, we might ought to think about, because we're getting up on next year, it'll be three years. Might ought to think about getting, uh, you know, either looking into getting different trucks, and then, you know, interest rates are through the roof right now, crazy, blah, blah, blah. Well, we, we got these trucks right for all that crap at the fan, too. Yeah, so we got good interest rates on these trucks. So, anyways, they called. Beachmont calls me, and they're like, well, the window doctor came, and he said the leak is not coming from the sunroof. It's coming from the aftermarket uh, cab, light. cab lights. And I'm on the phone. Trey wasn't there, and I'm like, I'm I didn't even know this. But they're I'm not like, aftermarket cab lights. They're aftermarket lens covers. All they, I didn't take the change the cab lights. I just changed the lens. Yeah, so. And I'm, I did that. Two years ago? Well, I had no, I didn't know about that because I, I, I didn't even know about that. So, 
So the, I, I'm like, well, they're not aftermarket. They're stock is what I said to him. And, and uh, They're factory. Yeah, and he's like, well, um, he's like, well, you know, the, the window doctor said it's not coming from the sunroof. I said, so it's 100% not coming from this sunroof. And he said, no. I said, okay. I said, so, I said, so are you all going to pull the, you know, the cab lights and fix it? Or, you know, are you guys going to have it for over the weekend? Or, you know, how long are you going to have it? And he's like, well, do you guys have a extended warranty? And I thought this guy's being like a cocksucker. And I said, uh, no, we haven't had the trucks three years yet or whatever. And if you've known us, um, Trey's had a lot of trucks. I don't even know how many trucks and I've had a lot of vehicles, but the one thing we've never done is put 39,000 miles on a yes, brand the new. The one thing I've never done is bought a brand new vehicle. You this, bought multiple brand new vehicles. I have not. I have not bought multiple brand new vehicles. Not at all. The Ford? What Ford? Uh, 7.3 you bought? That wasn't new? No. The Chevy? The pewter color Chevy wasn't new? That was a new truck. The that, Jeep wasn't new? The Jeep wasn't new. Jeep was used. Uh, okay, you've had a lot of vehicles is what I'm saying. We normally but put about 5,000 miles them, on None of them have been new except for that pewter Chevy. That's it. What about the Dodge 03? Dually. Wasn't new. It was used. The first one was new and you no, took it, it back. The silver one? Oh, the silver one was new, yes. I bet they wouldn't. They wouldn't come to do it. What I'm getting, what I'm getting at is these are the first vehicles we've ever had where we've actually put a lot of them, actually used them for trucks, and uh, so you know, a normal warranty is three year, thirty three year, or thirty six thousand miles. This thing is out of warranty. So, and the Dodge is right behind it. The Dodge has got a Ram, whatever you want to call it. It's got um, Ram. I think whatever. thirty thirty four or thirty five thousand, thirty four thirty five thousand miles on it. So, those calls that we keep avoiding, you know, hearing about your extended cars. Car warranty. Yeah, car warranty. We need, warranty. To, we, we, need, need to we need to answer that. Yeah, it's in the car. Anyway, so what we did a video, what a week ago on the B, on the B thing, we gotta update that too. Uh, I had a fucking beehive. Excuse my language. I had a beehive in the uh, electric meter box outside my house, and um, man, that, that's been a nightmare. But anyway, uh, we had to buy a, a thing of tube of silicone. So that guy said, "Do you think?" Or what you you called them and asked them how long they, they would have it to fix it because Justin said just fix it and I said we'll just fix it ourselves. Well, I asked him I I I, I didn't because I, I completely forgot the warranty was up or whatever so I was going to ask him how much they were going to charge to look at it and they never called me back and we just went and picked it up and I think um, we've had two or three vehicles that haven't came with cab lights that we've had cab lights put on or we put cab lights on aftermarket and they normally end up leaking after a couple years or whatever so this is pretty. Uh, common pretty standard practice here yeah so. but these aren't aftermarket cab lights all i did was change the lens i know That's but you so might have pinched one of the gaskets or something weird or one of them's eating away but i did it i put those things on when right when i first bought the truck i didn't even know he did it i didn't know that but i mean i did it like right when the truck was new so so we're gonna have to fix the cab lights we're gonna have to silicone around the cab lights basically yeah. so that's what we're gonna do pretty common and then there's there's other stuff in the back there's other i guess we're not gonna look at those we'll start with the cab lights He's right here. What, there's other stuff in the back. What are you talking about? Hold on with a torque. Torque? Is that a torque screw? Yep. Is it really? And then those two things right there. But supposedly, this guy isn't leaking. Are they really torque screws? Yeah. Yep. That sucks. I didn't remember that. I These are smoke. The so I guess the original ones were clear. Right? Or do you have the original ones still? I have them somewhere, yeah. I don't know where I put them. Maybe that's the problem. We should put the stock ones back on. No, they're not clear. They were, uh, I think, amber. I don't know where the hell I put them. I don't know. You normally put them over there, but I don't, I don't see them over there. Huh. I don't see them over there. Well, I guess get the screwdriver out and get silicone out. And... It is. Probably that one. No. So. Oh, but I hate having to take them out with a freaking screwdriver. The whole every one of them out with a screwdriver. Well, if you put them back in with a drill, will you crack one? Yet? I don't know. It's one of those. It's probably that one. It, that big one? Maybe. Or it could be this one. I don't know. It's it might it might be this one. Too big. That's too big. Try that one. That yellow one. Ooh, he's good for it. They're too small. A ticket. All right. Where's that silicone going in? So normally they, that screw just, I don't know what it threads down into, but it just pulls that. Uh, I, might have to run a, I might have to run some down that screw too. Just pulls that. Uh, There's a gasket on the screws. Oh, there is? Mm -hmm. 
They're not just coming off, though. Maybe that's the issue. Yeah, they're not just coming off. Huh. Hmm. There's only one screw in them. I can't remember how they... How they come off? I can't remember that. I'm going to hit them with little... Looks like they're all just that top piece. Maybe the whole thing comes off. I think. Uh, I don't know. No, it ain't moving. No. Nope. Hmm. Let me hit it with a straight. I'm trying to see if that's two different pieces there. That look like it's two different pieces. Look, I'm gonna take out. This one. Let me see the. I can't see if the whole thing is. See, they got little gaskets around the screws. Little rubber gaskets. Huh? I guess that's all one piece. Did you watch a video to do this originally? No, I don't watch videos. Hell no, I don't watch no video. Fired it up. I want to see if I can find the other. Where are the other ones at? The ones I took out. Huh. Where the hell would I have put them at? I don't know where I would have put them. See what they look like if I can find the ones I took off. Hmm. I did this, like I said, well not over from back a year there. ago. Literally, like, well over a year ago. Two years ago, probably. So, I did it right, pretty much right when I bought the truck. Huh. I would have put them over here in this thing, I, I would have thought. But I don't know where else I would have put them. Mm -hmm. That sucks, don't it? YouTube it. YouTube changed cab lights on it. You have to look it up. All right, tell them what we had to do, Justin. We had to resort to YouTube. YouTube. So you I guess you pry must it have, up. I guess you must have changed the whole cable light then, I right? Yes, I don't remember that all that. I really don't. You put silicone in there? Looks like there's silicone in there in there. I don't remember doing all that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. What a mess. It's good for your paint to pry a little bit on your paint in your truck a little bit, so just so you know. If you all need any mm. assistance with that, just give me a holler. You say you got a pry you back or back, something on it? Back. There it is. So I guess we just got a silicone to shit out of it, huh? I guess. Is there no gas on there at all? <laughs> no, there's nothing on there. There's a little sticky pad underneath the bottom of this. I wonder if I should just run some a bead of it. You gotta unplug the light, but you know it's gonna make an absolute mess trying to put it back on there. You know what I mean? Hopefully, I guess that's where it's leaking. It has to be, right? It's either there or these two. Hopefully, it's just the cam lights. I wonder if I just squirt a bunch of silicone down inside there. In the hole? Yeah. And let it spill out over the edge and then mm -hmm. push the light back down? I don't think I heard it. Can you see the headliner right there? No, we can't see the headliner. Uh oh. Yeah. Give it that here. where it smushes, smushes back out around the edge. I don't know any no rags. Need some over there a little bit. It's clear at least. Too much of a mess. I guess put extra more than anything on there. Yeah. And then just wipe the edges off with a rag. Ooh. A lot? Yeah, it's a lot.
up through the hole and everything. They weren't feeding no crap, were they? I guess they are aftermarket. V told us to lightly tighten the screw so you don't strip it. Well, I guess it's good up around there. I don't see any in the front, do you? Oh, did, it, did, it, did you get it good up there? The yeah, front? it's coming out the sides pretty good. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna have to need a rag. freaking hate silicone it once you get it just spreads everywhere you know what it's like it's like that friggin uh, never sees never sees you get that stuff every freaking where it's a wreck it's what it is so these held for a while didn't they yeah, they held good At least it's clear. What do you think? I say good on that, don't you? Can you like get most of it off there? It's off, yeah. Okay, it's off. I'm gonna get a new rag in. I don't think it's coming out of that. Do you? No. Look like I got it off there. Think we need to pull it up like that again or just spray silicone around the edges of it? Well, I don't know. What do you want to do? Mm -hmm. Just making sure there's no cracks around the front of it. do is just kind of see what happens you know what i mean do you want to pull this one up or what do you want to do yeah pull it up i don't want to pull it up why i don't want to break it i don't got no extra cab lights you ain't gonna break it just pry it a little bit it'll come up Oh, they had new, they had new gaskets, didn't they? I you guess, just, I don't really remember, honestly. It's been a minute. I can't remember what day it is, let alone that kind of stuff. That one came out further, I know that. So look what I'm going to do with this one. I guess I can just spray it. I don't know if that's going to be a good idea to put it down there like that or not. That's the wire up. I 
not giving anywhere to go. You got some knife? We'll go with it. Yeah, I guess the really only way to test it is going to be wait till it rains. Throw a bunch out over there. I think you just got it right there. Three left? Mm -hmm. Three left? Yeah, I'm going to put some on the top of this that are in the front. I don't care. Get another rag. I said once you get something on them rags, you're effed. That's these three. What is it? Damn. What? Nothing. It's in there. What's in there? The cab light? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I can't really... It sounds good, does it? No. Ooh. Sounds terrible. We'll give it back here right now. Where's the screw for that? There. This video how to 
fix your vehicle when your extended warranty runs out. This is a little bit, this is a little bit more there. There's a streak of, there you go. Looks good. And then we'll repeat the process another two and be back. And the process is done. Still gotta dry. They all work still. It's 100 degrees outside, so it shouldn't take long. Did you turn them on? Yeah. Oh, good. You know what we should do? We should do a whole, leave a, uh, Comment down below. Yeah, comment down below if you want us to do a whole video on that sign. A sign with the cow on it, and there's another sign back here on the corner. <laughs> that's a story time there, isn't it? Yeah, that should be a pretty funny video. <laughs> we can do a whole, we can do a whole video on that, but comment down below if you want to see a video on that. Why? That sign's there, and that sign's there. The mad cow is back by popular demand. We were talking about that last night around the fire. But we're gonna let it let it dry the rest you of the day. Any more residue while you're down there? No. Huh? No. Look all right. Mm -hmm. That's silicone, man. That stuff's like uh, buffalo cum. You get it somewhere, and it just it's, you can't get rid of it. It's just nasty, gooey, little gooey. I let it dry for a day, and then uh, run it through the car wash. He said it. He said he's caught it a couple of times leaking going to the car wash. So I guess we go to the car wash and it don't leak. It's fixed temporarily. Or, I tried to smash them holes full of silicone too, so I don't know. I don't think this one over here, I don't think any of these two were leaking, but I think it was one of them ones over there, but who knows which one was actually leaking. I don't know. So next time you see us, we'll be going through Mike's. Be back in a little bit. See ya. Well, we just got back from the gym. I figured it'd be a good day to do the, I'll show you how much it's been raining here. It's behind the house. It is dumping. Oh, leaking inside the Dodge. So of course there's no there's no water inside the Dodge, but I wanna walk, I wanna drive over to Trey's house real quick without wrecking. You no, know, maybe we can hop in the uh the Ford Trey's truck. And that's it's uh it's been sitting outside. It wasn't supposed to rain today. So but it is you can see it has poured for like an hour. It's freaking 6.15 at night. We just got back from the gym, so Trey went up and went inside and I thought, man, this might might not be a bad idea to uh, play the water of the mud coming back there. See if his uh, truck's leaking. Oh, Lord, it's raining. Okay. Let's see. to drive around the drive around the uh, he said when you pulled forward my hands are a little wet I'm trying to see if the cab lights are doesn't seem like anything's wet you know what turn around here he's gonna call me in a little bit and like were you driving my truck like, yeah Made a, made a little bit of a turnabout here. I'm gonna turn around and see if we can, uh, see if, if it is gonna leak, if we can make it leak. You can see how much. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm kind of faced down the hill right now. I think he said out of these lights and out of this center thing, right? Hmm. Nothing there. Not leaking up in there. No water up in there, right? Nothing there. Nothing. I don't see anything. Headliners completely. That's from my that's from my hand before. Nothing. I was I'm pretty sure that was from my hand. That water. I think it's we're facing downhill right now. Back up a little bit. 
Now you can see how much it's rained. There's a there's a river coming down the, the hill there. Let's see back up a little bit. Don't hit nothing. All she gets here is getting a bath, right? truck got turned around. I'd be like, I have no idea. Somebody must be trying to steal it and they gave up or something. Yep. I think it's fixed. We're good. Turn this thing off, see if we can see up here. Ooh. There's definitely water around him. Seem like it's holding, man. Got nothing right there. Nope, nothing. All right, well, I guess we'll end the video in a little bit. Uh, it'll be the next clip for you all, but it'll probably be the next day for me, so. I think we're good. No water. No water in here. No, no water anywhere. I'll be back. Well, I uh, forgot to finish the video on this one. Been a little bit busy this week. Um, I gotta keep the cameras over here. I'm going in the front of my phone here. Amy's getting the baby in the bath. We just got back from the swim club. Uh, it's been all over this week, been super busy. But uh, I actually don't even have shorts on right now. I'm sitting in this chair completely butt naked, but I can't show you anything lower because that would mean um, I'll definitely get. Now we probably wouldn't get it deleted off of that for that. We probably wouldn't get deleted. But, anyways. We'll save that for the spicy page, right, Amy? No, spicy page. No, we don't have a spicy page yet. But, uh, so, the truck is not leaking anymore. Um, not at all. That last clip I just showed you all, there, no water, and waited till the next day, and Trey went to Melissa's, and um, they're completely dry. So, it's working so, so far so good. But just wanted to come on here and say that. I uh, hope you all having a good week. Um, other than that, that's it. And when the people call to try to get you to do a longer extended warranty, you might want to think about it or just have some silicone on standby and then you don't need to think about it. But, uh, thank you all a ton. Really appreciate it. Um, all jokes aside, I uh, really couldn't do it without you all watching. Uh, it really does mean a lot to us. Um, we like to meet people out in public. If you ever see us out in public and, you know, wherever we're at, it doesn't matter. Come up and say hi and always have our bracelets on. And, you know, if your kids like watching, you know, like to give the give the bracelets out and stuff. And went to the fair last week, met a bunch of people, met some people up at the swim club today. Um, try to just say hi to, hi to everybody. Uh, we don't want to, we're not like the, the other social media there's a lot of social media people that are um, not very nice to me because I've met a bunch of those people. Um, but we always, uh, lost my train of, lost my train of thought there. We're always, um, sound like Biden now. Uh, I, I just, I don't want to come across as a, as a, as a butthead because we're not a butthead. We're just like everybody else. We're just hillbillies that started a YouTube channel that, people started watching and um and that's who we still are so anyways that's my that's my rant uh still got <laughs> merch and stock uh you can get that on uh, bellife.com if you want some got bracelets over there see bracelets uh, i think we're i think we're out of hats but darren's calling me right now believe it or not talking about going to bike night but anyways please like share and subscribe uh share this video subscribe to the bell life bangs uh trying to make that funny for y'all to watch even if you're not into guns Subscribe to uh, Ask the Bell Life. And of course, check us out on thebelllife.com. See you all in the next one. Love you.